Hi, this is Hank Kim, Executive Director and Counsel for the National Conference on Public Employee Retirement Systems. This is the video blog for the work week of April 1st. Last week, we had some very interesting conversations uh, about public-private partnerships to help rebuild the American infrastructure. The conversation began on Thursday, March 28th, when the Center for American Progress, CAP, uh, a think tank here in Washington, D.C., held a very informative session uh, about uh, pub uh, pension plans and unions investing in infrastructure to A, um, uh, rebuild uh, the American infrastructure, B, to bring jobs, uh, good paying jobs, to, uh, back to America, and C, uh, an alignment of, uh, of interest, time frame, and uh, investment returns uh, between pension plans and infrastructure. The session can be viewed on the CAP website. Um, I thought it was, I attended it and I thought it was a very informative session that addressed some of the challenges, some of the upsides, and really got the conversation started. Um, NCPERS members uh, were well represented. Um, among the panelists uh, at the CAP event was Sonia Axeter, uh, uh, who is with the Ulico Investment Company, as well as Dr. Larry Bieferman with the Harvard Law School who is our partner in developing the, uh, the Harvard Law School and NCPERS joint program, uh, Program for Advanced Trustee Studies, the PATS program that's held annually in July at Harvard Law School, as well as the American Federation of Teacher, uh, Teachers who are, uh, who, uh, who are uh, represented on the panel. Then on uh, Friday, March 29th, uh, the, the president was down in Miami uh, advocating for public-private partnerships, and he was uh, talking in particular about the Port of Miami, which uh, was funded and financed uh, by a public-private partnership at various levels of government from federal, state, and local, as well as uh, pension plans and other private investors. So I thought that was a you know, very seminal moment in terms of this conversation about public-private partnerships in infrastructure. And as our members know, uh, NCPERS has been uh, leading in this conversation for some time, particularly with our member, the Ontario Municipal Employee Retirement System, and their uh, chairman and NCPERS board member, Rick Miller. So stay tuned. We think uh, that infrastructure is a conversation that certainly um, uh, started, and we think it's uh, going to continue. Uh, at our annual conference uh, in May of this year, uh, we will have a, a panel discussion on infrastructure. Uh, so uh, stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.